Super Bowl ads are practically an event unto themselves. And when they unfold on the screen tonight, viewers will see a reflection of America's diversity. Pat McKinney, he is joining us here. He's the chief creative director of Dalton Agency. You're going to talk to us about some of these trends. And the question I asked you, and I'm a little shocked of the answer, do these ads actually work? Well, you got to look at the investment. We've got, you know, a 30-second spot. These uh, advertisers are putting in, you know, five million dollars for 30 seconds. That's a lot of money. <laughs> um, but you got to think about this. This is the only time any event that people are actually watching for the commercials. I mean, you got 190 million people Golly. watching, uh, and it's like 47 million of them are actually watching for the commercials. So that's a, an audience who wants your stuff. They want to look at your product. So. It is kind of a, a nice venue for people to advertise for. But our people, like myself, for instance, I watch for the entertainment, not to right. see what new products are out there. Is that kind of the trend of what happens? It's more so like, oh, that was funny versus, oh, I really want to look at that new Sprint phone. Yeah, and the idea is for advertisers to have people react. You know, we talked earlier about the digital portion of it, and that's where they try to extend that $5 million. You know, do it online, release them early. We get 90% of the spots are already released. They're already out wow. there. So they're trying to capture on a lot of this hype during that four weeks. But, like you asked, is it worth it? Um, some of the research has shown that there is a, a bit of a lift, but... $5 million worth. I and mean, a lot of these spots are even 60s, so that's wow. a lot more. Well, I think we have a couple of them. Julian, if you could roll the Drake one, at least. You used to call me on my cell phone. Cut, cut, pull out, cut. Perfect. Here are the changes. I love changes. When you say call me on my cell phone, just add device eligible for upgrade after 24 months. Genius. You know what? Also, you need to include that streaming music will incur data charges. Fantastic idea. <laughs> These changes don't ruin the song at all. Yeah, we're gonna go again! Other wireless carriers ruin everything. Switch to T-Mobile. Be on care. Okay, pretty silly. Everybody, that song is it just it gets stuck in your head anyways. But obviously, that's going to get a lot of people laughing. Drake is a celebrity. They're kind of mocking his music video. But like I said, is it actually going to play out into sales? Also... How do, how do these people go into the creative aspects to meet together and figure out what they're going to do? Because there's a lot of competition. Competition. There's a lot of pressure. You've got to look at this as the Super Bowl of ads. You know, you've coming in, your reputation is on the line. I mean, this is a gamble. You know, this is a, one of those things where you could really you know, go down in flames. Yeah. So um, kind of putting that pressure is really difficult. So you do want to be uh, quite entertaining, uh, you know, looking at utilizing celebrities. I mean, there's a lot of celebrities going to be utilized this year. Oh, yeah. um, a lot of car ads are using celebrities. Uh, the research does show that some of the ads that have not used celebrities have actually um, resonated higher. Oh, that's, so that's interesting. It is interesting. Well, hey, I know you're going to be back with us on Monday to actually break down how it played out. So we appreciate you coming on now and giving us a preview no in case you, you know, don't know what's going on. Super Bowl 50s tonight at 6.30. And, of course, you can watch the commercials and also the Carolina Panthers and oh, yeah. Denver Broncos. They're playing. Oh, there's a game on. <laughs> there is a game. Oh.